Oh, hello, hello, everyone. It is Monday night. Say hi as you're coming in. Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. All right. Confirm. Next, next. Save and activate. Okay. How's everybody doing? Hey, Susan, Kathy, Sharon, Sandy, and Linda. Whew. It has been a Monday, you guys. Hey, Jane. How are you? I'm a little bit exhausted. <laughs> so, hey, Sylvia. So, if I seem like I don't have any energy, I don't. <laughs> but that's okay. So, what's everyone doing? How was your weekend? Hey, Blanche. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Susie. How are you? Hey, Maria. Okay, so we're going to be making a Christmas wreath with this um, sign from the Crazy Chicken Lady Recent Signs. And, of course, I'm going to be using my wonderful mesh holder from Susie's Wreath and Sings. Hey, Mary. How are you? So I went ahead and made my... Um, Thanks, Kim. I try to be. I really do. I try to be. I went ahead and made my wreath frame. I already cut. I have this um, mesh from Craft Outlet. It's the red, like, snowball mesh. And I cut it to 30 inches. So we're going to be using that. We're going to be using ruffles. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, so we're going to do that. And if you guys have any questions, hopefully... You guys are going to have to keep me awake today. I'm, I'm exhausted. I really am. Hey, Tina. How are you? All right. So, I'm going to start out with my mesh. And, you know, you want to... Um, hey, Reba. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Janie. Um, you want to start out with the tighter curls. And if you see what I mean, when you cut your rolls, these are the ones that... Thanks, Becky. Thanks, Susie. These are the ones you can see the difference in the tightness. This is like towards the end of the roll or the very end of the roll, and this is more towards the beginning. Thank you. I know, right, Susie? I'm exhausted. Um, so you want to use the ones that are real tight down the bottom. So um, you guys know I do. I always kind of curl that under a little bit just to get it started. And then this one's really tight because it was probably the last one on the roll. Hey, Donna. Hey, Jackie. So I'm going to do this. So like I said, what I do is I take the very end. Whoop, this still has a little piece of tape on it. I missed that one. And thanks, Cindy. Thank you so much. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Donna. So, and I just take and I curl the very end under. And that's just so that rough edge isn't, you know, kind of showing like crazy. And then I just ruffle it down. That's just going to kind of hold it. And then I do the same on this end. Fold that down a little bit. Um, hey, Jackie. I am making your joy sign tonight. I have been making wreaths two years. A little over two years. And I'm going to put one in each of the pipe cleaners. Now, you guys know that in the half pipe cleaners... When I make my wreath frames, um, I don't put streamers in, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, if you guys want live alerts when I go live, please type live in the comments and then follow the directions on how to get those lives. You have to respond to the message you get or you won't be, you won't be enrolled. And also, don't forget I have that wreath giveaway, so make sure if you're interested in that, um, type in free wreath or free something like that. Okay, what is the, oh, this, this is just, this is actually a phone holder or um, a, um, 
iPad holder or something. I'm, and I was just using this to hold down my mesh because the send is really curly. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate the shares. And we'll get that started. So don't forget, and with the, the giveaway is going on until the 5th. And I don't know if you guys can see the poison pumpkins, but that's the wreath I'm going to be giving away. And you can get entries every day. And you can also get entries if you like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you type in free wreath, you just click on that link and that will um, bring that up. And then it's all done through King Sumo. So they pick the winners and everything. So we will know, I think Thursday or Friday night, who the winner is. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. So yeah, but make sure when you guys um, get the messages on your live that you respond to that message because if you don't, you won't be um, you won't be entered. So. So if you guys could share this on your personal pages, that would help get it to, out to all your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want more information on the mesh holder or the sign, I will pin that information as well. Um, so let me know. So how is everyone doing? I'm telling you, I'm exhausted today. I don't know if you can see it in me, I'm, but I'm tired. Thank you. Yeah, the mesh came from um, Craft Outlet, and the ruffles are 30 inches long. So when you do 30-inch ruffles, it takes about a roll and a half, somewhere around there. Hey, Tony, how are you? So today was another beautiful day. So hopefully it'll stay that way. Hey, Ernestine, how are you? Oh, what did I do today? Well, I had um, my two grandbabies that are four and two from 7.30 to 5. And then, um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'm really exhausted. Um, I had my two grandbabies from 7.30 to 5. And then my daughter came over with her, oh gosh, 17-month-old this morning. And then um, at 3 o'clock, she picked up her other three. So I had six kids from 3 to 4.30 till my husband took two of hers to the game. And then I had, so I, I'm telling you, it's hard keeping up with them, right? I don't know if you guys that have grandbabies. I mean, I'm 55 years old, and I do not have the energy I used to have. <laughs> so... Mondays, I'm always like a little more exhausted. Hey, Wanda, welcome. Yeah, so Mondays, if I seem like I don't have energy, that's why. <laughs> you know, because you want to keep them busy because if you don't keep them busy, boy, they can get into trouble. All kids do, you know. So I took them to the um, library for story time. And then, uh, I know, right, Susan? I took them to the library for story time. And then we went to a park. And then we came home. And... You know, so it's just, it's a little tiring. <laughs> um, I cut 18, Maria. I put 18 pipe cleaners on my wreath base. And so I cut 18. I put one in each of the um, pipe cleaners. Hi, Connie. How are you? So... Yep, it's just a crazy day. And I, you know, I always try to prep on Sunday for my Monday's live because I know I'm going to be exhausted and I know I'm not going to have any time. So I always try to prep. Um, hey, Marlene, how, how are you? Hey, Rose. I know my husband's like, do you have a headache? You look like you have a headache. I said, surprisingly, today I don't, but I'm just tired. <laughs> Oh, no problem, Sandra. 
Um, the wreath frame is, it's the 14 inch frame from Dollar Tree. I think 99% of the time I use the Dollar Tree wreath frames. I just like them. I know a lot of people really like the work wreaths. Um, I don't know. I just prefer these. I know I'm weird probably. Whoops. No problem, Maria. Hey, Kim, thank you so much for sharing. Isn't this mesh pretty? I love all the colors in the snow, snowball mesh. Oh, no problem, Diane. How are you? waiting for this thing to go tumbling down them. Yeah, I like the snowball mesh. It just turns out really cute. Thanks, Brenda. Hey, Jeannie. It's getting all caught. Like I said, you just, and it's easy on the snowball mesh because it does have these lines across. So it's kind of makes it easier to kind of stay in the middle when you gather. So I really try to watch those lines as I'm going so that you're not um, getting a real wonky thing. The 18 pieces are um, cut to 30 inches, Sandra. No problem, Dawn. Oh, Pat, 11.15, you're having surgery. Ugh. Yes, it's 10-inch mesh, Dana. Yep. Yeah, if you ever miss a live, you can always go back in my videos and re-watch them or share it, and it'll go right to your page so you can watch it anytime you want. Oh, it's storming there. Hey, Luann. Oh, Jackie, you're getting storms. Ugh. Jackie is the one that made the sign I'm going to be using. Oh, Patricia. Um, you know what? I really buy my ribbon a lot of different places. Obviously, you know, the ones that a lot of people use are Craft Outlet, Trendy Tree, Deco Exchange, um, those kind of places. Um, Sam's Club. Um, oh, yay, Diana. You ordered your Provo. Yay. Um, Sam's Club, Costco, their, you know, wire ribbon is good. Um, Michael's, their ribbon's pretty good. AC Moore. Dawn, it takes, when you're doing 30 inch ruffles, it takes about a um, roll and a half of the 10 inch mesh. Now, if you do 20 inch ruffles, you can get away with one roll, but when you do the 30 inch ruffles, it does take two, about a roll and a half. <clears throat> Thank you, Kathy. Um, Rayanne, I have videos that show you exactly how I do my um, frames. I put one in each of the crossbars on the very inner ring. And I'll show you. I have one sitting over here that I had made. Um, and then in the third row, I put a half a pipe cleaner. Oh, excuse me, on the crossbar. This is a 14 inch um, frame from the Dollar Tree Dawn. Okay. I, Sandra, when I do my work frames, I just put a little dab of hot glue where I attach the pipe cleaners and that just holds them. 
that works really well. I mean, not a lot, just a tiny little bit. Um, and I, like I said, if you want to see a video on exactly how I do it, there is um, a video showing you step by step how I do my my frames. Um, I got the mesh at. Um, hey Sue, welcome. How'd PT go? I got the mesh from Craft Outlet. What did you get today, um, Dawn? Yes, it's definitely. Do I need a website with my Etsy? I have one more day. Um, you mean with your Etsy shop, Connie? No, you don't need a website to open up your your Etsy shop. If you have an Etsy shop, you you know you don't need a website. Both too. I used one and a half rolls of mesh. Hey Sandra. Hey Bessie. Hey Brenda. Yeah, I definitely I just add a little a little dab of glue and it just um you know holds them so they don't move around. Oh my. Blanche, well, did you have to tell me that? Now I'm gonna be all nervous. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about the free the wreath giveaway. Um and if you want alerts, type live. So the ruffles are 30 inches. And I use my mesh roller to help me do the ruffles and um, do my ribbon tails. Like I've told you guys before, thanks, hey Debbie. Um, I could not live with two tools. And one is my Pro Bow and one is my mesh holder. Hey Charlotte, how are you? Yep, and if you want the lives, like I said, make sure you respond to the message that you get. Otherwise, you will not be on there, but you do have to respond. How many yards? There is 10 yards on each of the rolls of mesh. I know, isn't the mesh pretty? It really is. I really like, like I said, I love the snowball mesh in any color. Luann, it'll take a um, one and a half rolls of mesh. When you do 30 inch ruffles, it always takes about a roll and a half. If you do 20 inch ruffles, it takes a roll. Now, I wouldn't do 20 inch ruffles if the um, Rayanne, if you send me a message, I will um, send you, I, I'll find that link for you, and I'll send that to you. Okay, so that's just the outer row, and look how full it is already. That's why, honestly, I love the ruffle method. I use it so much. I am kind of addicted to this method, to be honest. So, um... I use it a lot because it does make a nice full wreath and um, it's, you know what, I don't even know if it's snowball or snowdrift. I'm not sure, Carolyn. I think I threw the thing away. Um, okay, so this is what I do when I make my wreath frames. If you guys can see the crossbar here, um, I put one pipe cleaner on the very inner here. A half pipe cleaner on the third row there and then I put a full pipe cleaner on the third row right in the middle okay so um, that's how I do it and it comes out to be 12 full pipe cleaners and six half pipe cleaners oh, hello from California oh thanks Shannon <laughs> the wire form is a 14 inch Whoops. Yep. Like I said, make sure you respond to that live message. If you don't, you won't be, um, you won't get the alert. So you do have to respond. 
And then, like I said, if you are interested in the wreath giveaway I'm doing, um, just type in free or um, free wreath and you'll get information on that. Why the half short pipe cleaners? Because I don't put streamers in the half pipe cleaners, Luann. I kind of think they overlap too much. Now, this is just my opinion. Um, so I only put them in the full pipe cleaners, the streamers, when I do them. Now, I think all the pipe cleaners are like 12 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yep, 12 inches. Yeah. Yeah, so, and make sure you, like I say, follow the, you know, click on that where it says pre wreath, and then you'll get an, and I think you get one entry every day, two entries if you like and follow my Facebook page, two entries if you um, go and subscribe to my, my um, YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check that out. The mesh I cut to 30 inches. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Kind of gets lost. It gets so full that you really kind of lose <laughs> where you put your, um, your next ruffle. So, hey, Janet, how are you? Yep, please, if you guys would, share this video on your personal page with all your friends and family, if you would. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. I put all my wreaths that I make on there. I've got lots of fall and Halloween and Christmas wreaths. So go check that out if you would. Like I said, I tuck both ends under so that um, you don't see that raw edge as much. Hey, Barbara Manning, how are you doing today? Good to see you on here. Yeah, I, um, I like to make my own wreath forms. Hey, Janet. I don't know. I just prefer them. I know most wreath makers, they like the work wreath forms. Um, could you start in the middle instead of the outer one? When you start um, the wreath, you mean? The Etsy link? Let me, oh, hold on here. There's my Etsy shop. So please go on there and check it out if you would. And share it with your friends. Let me pin that comment. I do. I do put the ruffles in all of the pipe cleaners. I just don't put the ribbon streamers in there. Um, yeah, you could... Yep, Dreama, yep, yep. This is just kind of what I started. It looks like two different rolls of mesh. Really? Hmm. Well, it is two different rolls, but it's um the same stuff. Hey, Francie, welcome. Uh, Elaine, I, um, what isn't working? The um, Etsy, you might have to wait until the end of the live. Sometimes the pinned comments won't work while I'm still online. But if you, maybe if you copy it and paste it into um, the Etsy, it'll work. Sometimes it won't work while I'm still on the live. 
I don't know why that is. But if it doesn't work after the live, let me know and I will um, just send me a message. Blanche, stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, Carol. Yeah, you can't use the links until the live is finished. Hello, Samantha from the UK. Welcome. Johnny says she uses DAP glue. I just use the hot glue. But, you know, everyone kind of comes up with their own things. So, um, you kind of work out what works best for you. You know, what works for one person might not necessarily be what you like to do. So, um, you kind of... You know, you try different things. Hey, Marie. Hey, Lisa. And you kind of come up with what you like to do and what works best for you. Um, that's what I did. These are cut to 30 inches. Now i got to find my pipe cleaners. Here it is. They kind of get lost after a while. Thanks, Carolyn. Yep, 30 inches is the ruffles. And it just makes a really beautiful, nice, um, full base. I think, I think we're done. I think I might have cut one too many, but let me check just to be sure. Yep, we're good. Okay. Oh, hey, Lisa. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, Mom. Let me to respond watch the alerts. Um, there should be a link, Ro Rona, that will um, come up next. You have to respond to that, and then it should take you to, it'll send you another link. Okay, so we got the mesh. So this is the sign that I'm going to be using. This came from, um, I know, right. how long did it take me? <laughs> You guys, I've been trying to get 300 on one of my lives forever, forever. So I want you guys here every every Monday and Thursday night. Um, would it have the same coverage? You mean if you don't cut it as long? Okay, this is the sign. And then I have these ribbon streamers we're going to be using. I know, Blanche, yay! And the white. So I know I'm going to be using those two. You didn't get any link, Janet. Let me see if it's working. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, why is it not working? Okay, try it again. It should be working. Is everyone getting the message or not? Let me know if you're not getting it because you should be getting it. Sometimes it does take a little while if a lot of people... Hey, Hilda, welcome. If a lot of people are trying to get on. Okay, so I have these two that are already cut. So I know I'm definitely using those. So I then I have this, which I love. Look. It's like an expandable ribbon. Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I know. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Tink. How are you? I know, right? It is beautiful. So I'm thinking of using that on there. And then I'm definitely using this. I'm just trying to decide. You did not get a message. Um, did you type live or live alert? Yeah, some people are getting them. Sometimes it takes a little while. So just give it a couple minutes and see if it, um, if it's working. And then I have this, um, ribbon. Isn't that pretty? It says joy to the Lord. Lord has come. Oh, yay. Okay. So, um, I kind of want to see how exactly I'm going to do this and then we'll cut the rest of it. So what I do is this is my mesh holder. I don't know if you guys can let me move it over a little bit so you guys can see it. My mesh holder from Susie's Wreath and Things. 
This is one of the things I cannot live without. So um, I love it, love it, love it. And I don't know if we're going to use the Provo tonight or not, so we'll see. I'm going to cut just one and see if um, how I want to do this. Because look, isn't that cool? So it starts out like that. And then you just, you can expand it. Isn't that neat? I love that. So I'm just going to fold it in half and try this out. And then I'm going to just gather it together and it just makes like a little bow. <laughs> SD, I know, right? It takes giving away a free wreath to get people here. I think that's what it is. So I wish it was like this every night. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, please continue to share. All right, so I'm just going to test this and kind of see how I like it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. I love that. Okay, so and then I know I'm going to add these. So I'm just kind of experimenting to kind of um, get an idea what I want to do with that other ribbon. Yes, yeah, Susie's recent things. Let me, um, hold on. The mesh roller and the sign. And I'll put that here as well. So that's where um, I got the mesh roller and the sign from. So go check her out. And um, the mesh roller is an affiliate link, so I get a couple pennies if you, um, you know, buy anything. But just FYI. Okay, so. I know I, oh, thank you. The silver ribbon came from Michael's last year. All right, so now this is where I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this 30 inches because I'm going to see how I want to do this. So I'm thinking, oh, thanks, Kathy. No, do not buy mesh from Hobby Lobby. Don't buy mesh from Hobby Lobby. Don't buy mesh from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, a lot of their mesh is a really basic mesh. It frays terribly. The ribbon is fine, but do not buy mesh at Hobby Lobby. Don't do it. You're not. You're gonna. You're gonna be wanting to pull your hair out. Hey, Kathy. Um, what I do with the pipe cleaners is once I get finished, I kind of um, curl them around. Oh, I'm liking that. I curl them around a. Um, thanks, Kathy. I curl them around a dowel when I'm done, but I'm not sure that I'm done yet. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I did was. What do you guys think of that? You like it? Yep, I did, cut uh, Ruth, but you can always um, watch the replay and you can see exactly how I did it. Um, Tony, you can buy mesh from Craft Outlet. You can buy mesh from, I'm going to cut these now 14 inches, so I'm going to show you how I do it. And this is where I love um, this mesh holder. Because what I do is I just find the 14 inches and then I just fold it over. And keep doing that. And look how easy it is to, to roll off of here. Um, let me see. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Donna. Don't buy mesh from Hobby Lobby. That's what I said. Um, now, if they have some of the premium mesh, and that's the mesh with a lot of foil, that's fine. But do not buy their basic mesh. You will, you will not be happy. Yeah, the Christmas mesh is okay. But don't use the regular Okay. Yeah, you will not, um, you, you wouldn't like it. I would not do all 18. Yes. Yeah, that's why I don't do all 18, um, Blanche. I just do the 12. That's why I use the half pipe cleaners because I don't put the, um, 
the ribbons in the half pipe cleaners because it just covers everything up. And I like some of my mesh to show. Yes, it is just the base, but I like it to show. Hey, Barb from Pennsylvania. How are you? I'm in Pennsylvania also. I'm just going to dovetail the ends. I don't even know if I dovetailed that one or not. I don't even know. You would think they would, Peggy. Yes. Um, you would definitely think they would, but just don't. I know it's like it's right there, so it's great, but don't buy it. Um, I really don't buy mesh from Michaels either. The only mesh I really buy from, oh, Kathy, take it back. <laughs> take it back. Unless it's, unless it's the um, Christmas that has a lot of metallics in it. If it's the real basic mesh, don't buy it. Yeah, it just, it just, you, you won't be happy with it. The length, the pipe cleaners are 12 inches. They're just a standard pipe cleaner. Okay, so I'm get this out of the way. Hey, Donna, well, welcome. I'm glad you found me too. Thanks, guys. If this is your first time, type live in the comments and you will get a message. And then you will have to respond to that message and then you'll get an alert each time I go live. Teresa, welcome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't, Kathy. I didn't think so. <laughs> I'll go back and do it. It'll be fine. Okay, so now this I'm kind of making a little bow out of, so I don't need to dovetail these. Um, but the other ones I do. Hey, Reba, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, if this is your first time, thank you so much for coming on. If you would like to receive an alert each time I go live, please um, type live in there and then respond to that. Yes, I'm cutting these longer. Hey, Lance. Um, I'm cutting these 20 inches because I'm not using it as a streamer. I'm kind of making a little bow out of it. So you see how, how much easier that ribbon holder has made it so much easier. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, craft Outlet. You can buy it from Trendy Tree, Deco Mesh. Um, hey, Janet. Betsy. You will not be happy with it. You will not like it. You will hate it. It's very thin. It frays really bad. Um, you just will not be happy with it. So just save yourself the money and don't buy it. Um, Peggy, normally I usually do anywhere from 12 to 14 inches. When I do the 30 inch ruffles, I always do um, 14 inches. And if you're not sure, if you're just starting out, hey, Nellie from PA. I'm in PA also. Welcome. Yeah, the mesh from Hobby Lobby is just way, way, way too thin. You will not be happy with it at all. So just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take a red and white and I'm going to stack it on top of each other okay these are all cut to 14 inches then I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to gather it where the fold was okay I'm going to find my pipe cleaner here hey Diana oh no problem Peggy when I use the 30 inch ruffles, you always use 10 inch mesh. Hey, is it Kreshel? Kreshel Joyner, welcome. I'm using 10 inch mesh and I got this from Craft Outlet. It's an online store. You just type in craftoutlet.com and you get it from there. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Yeah, Craft Outlet, The Wreath Shop. Trendy Tree, Deco Exchange. Okay, so this is the piece I put 20 inches. 
I cut 20 inches. So the reason I did that is, and I didn't dovetail, I'm just going to fold them over so they overlap a little bit and then make kind of a little bow out of it, gather it in the middle, and then I'm going to put this in the center like this. Well, welcome, Susan. I'm glad you guys found me. If you want to receive alerts when I go live, please type in alert or live and you will get an alert. When you use 10 inch mesh and you cut it to 30 inches, you have to use a roll and a half. Hey, Debbie from Shepherdsville. How are you? Hey, Terry. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too, Johnny. I think it's it's one of my favorite meshes, I think. I really like it. Yes, and make sure you um, respond to the alert message because otherwise you will not be subscribed to my um, messenger. So you do have to respond. So make sure you do that, please. And then I am... Um, giving away that wreath in the back, the Poison Pumpkins one. So if you're interested in that, type in free. And you will get information on there that you have to click on and sign up for that. Okay, so again, these are 20 inches. I'm just folding it in half. And then in half again to kind of make a little bow. And then I'm putting that right in the center there. Yeah, it's not, you will not um, be happy with it. Where and how do I store my mesh or my um, wreaths? What I do is I, um, the frame is 14 inches. What I do is I put them, I buy those rolling um, clothing racks and I put each wreath on a hanger and cover it in a bag. And then I just um, store them on that. So, and they hang because you need to put bags over them because um, they'll stick to each other. The mesh will stick to each other. So you want to put bags on them just to protect them from the elements too. So that'll help. So welcome, 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 all you guys. Yes, Linda, I do. Yeah, Leah, I do like working with um, burlap. Yes. The silver ribbon, it's called expandable wired ribbon. I got it from Michael's last year. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I found the, um, the clear bags at Costco. I use, I think it's the 30, yeah, the 33 gallon bags. And that seems to be the right size. Thank you for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. If you would share, 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 that would help. Like I said, go pick out, check out my Etsy shop and my um, YouTube channel. The ties, there's 18 ties on my frame. Oh, no problem, Karen. Yep, just share it, and then it will go onto your page, and then you can watch it whenever you want. But if you guys would share this to your personal page so your friends and family see it, I would much appreciate that. Yes, I put it on the top layer where the um, pipe cleaners are, and then around the bottom also. Yep. In all of the full pipe cleaners. Like I said, I put um, six full pipe cleaners around the top layer and six around the bottom. And then, um, hey, Jill. Jill, did you get your scarecrow kit yet? Thanks, Lisa. The joy sign came from the crazy chicken lady custom wreaths and signs. Hey, Linda. Um, Linda, I put um, 
mesh in all 18 of the pipe cleaners, but I only put my ribbon streamers in 12 of them, the 12 full pipe cleaners, not the half ones, because I just think it overlaps too much and it um, covers everything up. Thanks, Jackie. Oops, oh, there we go. Yeah, Jackie made the sign. So um, the one that just said love the ribbons. So if you're interested in the sign, I did put her link there also. So you can contact her about the signs. Yeah, Linda, if you have any questions, um, I have a video in my video section that shows you exactly how to put the pipe cleaners on um, and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say, wow, it should be there. Um, Blanche, I just offered a couple. Of, here's Here was the problem. Oh, thanks, Victoria. Thanks, Patricia. I had um, a couple of kits, and then it was taking like months and months and months and months and months. And I finally ended up canceling the order because, number one, we had an issue here at the house. And number two, it was like by the time I would have gotten the Scarecrow kits, um, September was going to be over. Thanks, Kim. Um, if you just type live in the comments, you will get an alert uh, or you'll get a message. Respond. Make sure you respond to that message and then you will... Um, you'll be subscribed to my bot and then each time I go live, you'll get a message. Oh, thanks, Linda. Okay, so let me show you again. I know a lot of people are confused by that half pipe cleaner, full pipe cleaners, why I do it. Um, it's just a personal preference. Okay, so I will show you again. Yeah, I think Blanche... I do have the one um, scarecrow message me, Blanche. Okay, so. Yeah, send me a message, Blanche. Okay, so. This is how, thanks, Nellie. This is how I do my work reads. So, what I do, this is a 14 inch box frame. frame. It's called a back box um, wreath frame. It comes from Dollar Tree. Hey, Terry, welcome. Um, what I do, and this is just what I do, I put, if you see the crossbars right there, okay, I put a full pipe cleaner here, and on the third row, I put a half a pipe cleaner. I, excuse me, I put a little dab of glue so they don't move around. And then in between each crossbar, I put a full pipe cleaner here in the third row. Now, um, <laughs> no problem, Sonia. So I do that all the way around. So what that ends up being is there's six full pipe cleaners around the top, and there's six pipe, full pipe cleaners around the bottom, and six half pipe cleaners. The half pipe cleaners, I put my mesh in. I put a, a um, either a ruffle or a poof, <coughs> excuse me, or whatever I'm doing. So I do use those for that. But I do not put the ribbon in those because it just fills in so much that you end up not seeing any of the mesh. And I just prefer that you, that my wreath, um, I like seeing some of the mesh. So that's why I do the half pipe cleaners and the full pipe cleaners. Okay, so that, I hope that explains it. All right, so now we're, so that's the top row. So that's the inner row, okay? So if you guys saw... You know, what I just explained, this is the inner row. So now I'm going to go and do the outer row. Thank you. Yep, if you guys could bless my page and share it, I would much appreciate that. And again, I cut these to 14 inches. And I'm just stacking them and then folding it in half. Oh, thanks, Pam. After you've been doing it a while, it, you know, pretty much is, you know, you get the swing of it. Thanks, SD. Thanks, Brenda. So once I get that silver mesh in there, I'm just spreading it out. 
Oh no, you don't have that. You don't need to apologize, Angie. That's fine. Absolutely. You know, if you don't understand something, I would rather you ask, um, because then you understand why I'm doing it. So don't ever be afraid to ask a question. Oh yeah, you can do it any way you want. Honestly, it's just that's how I've kind of do it and um that's how i like it so you know like i said you need to find what works for you if you're doing it a different way and that works absolutely um donna if you bought you mean a work wreath that already has the pipe cleaners on it is that what you're talking about donna oh thanks jackie Because if you use a work wreath, okay, let me show you. Well, I don't have many of them because I don't use a whole lot of them. But, okay. So this is a work form, a work wreath, okay? Should have gotten, okay, so this is what a work, a work, um, a work frame looks like. Okay, now as you can see, it's kind of raised, okay? So it's, you know, a couple inches here, this way, all right? Um, and it has, I think these should have 18 pipe cleaners on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, it has 16. You don't have to add any more. Um, Yes, Tina, that's correct. So um, you use this the same way. I like, number one, I like the box wreath frames because they're not as high. Like this is, this is like, you know, almost one and a half, two inches. So if you have a screen door, your wreath's going to be fuller. It's going to end up about eight inches wide. And it's not going to fit in the screen door as easy. Um... And sometimes the pipe cleaners aren't spaced the way I like them. I don't know. It's just me. It's just a personal preference. But I like using the box frames. Like I said, just a personal preference that I have. If you like something else better, absolutely, you know, go with that. Yep, Tina, absolutely. So six on the top and six on the bottom. Those half pipe cleaners, I don't put... And I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys when I do this one. Because you'll see that even just using, oh, lost my pipe cleaner. Um, using the 6 on the bottom instead of the 12, how, how they cover. And if you had one in between even, that you wouldn't see anything. So I hope that answers your question a little bit. Um, yes, the YouTube should be Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Yep. Yeah, it, I don't know. It just makes more sense to me, Peggy. And like I said, if you don't like that, then by all means, just find what works for you. I just, it's just what I like to do. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Um, Jamie, I use, oh, awesome, D. I use 12 full pipe cleaners and six half pipe cleaners. Okay, so if you guys can see this, thank you. All right, so this is the bottom row, okay? So here's a full pipe cleaner. There's a half pipe cleaner here, and then there's a full pipe, um, pipe cleaner here. If you use this half pipe cleaner, they are be, going to be sitting right on top of each other, okay? So that's why I don't use that half pipe cleaner there, all right? That's why I don't use that one because then here would be another set of these tails. So they literally would be so close together, okay? Oh, thanks, Esty. 
I did get, hold on, I did get, I was so excited I got over 100 subscribers to my YouTube channel. So now I have a, um, a personalized URL instead of those crazy numbers. I'm so excited. But this is my YouTube channel. I know, I'm so excited. So now it actually has a name instead of all these numbers. <laughs> okay, so that um, does that help explain a little better why I don't use those half pipe cleaners there? And like I said, it's just a preference. It's just something that I started doing um, that I like better. So thank you though, SD. Yeah, I just got that. I just got that yesterday, SD. So that's why you probably didn't have that one. But yeah, I'm so excited. Because otherwise it was just a bunch of numbers. The purpose of the half pipe cleaners is for the mesh. I use it, I do use it for the mesh because I still put mesh in there. So that's why I still keep those pipe cleaners there because I, um, I, I always put the mesh in, whether I'm doing the poof method or whether I'm doing the um, ruffle method, I still use those half pipe, pipe cleaners for the mesh. If you are doing the poof method, hold on. Uh, yes, exactly, Christine, yes. Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. So that's why... Um, Google account I don't you mean to have oh for a YouTube account Kathy no problem Robin and then again this one I did um, 20 inches because I'm kind of using it as a little bow and not a streamer Yes, I used, exactly, Tony. 30, I used 18 pieces of 30-inch, well, 10-inch mesh cut to 30 inches. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, for those of you that are new, I'm always on Monday and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't already receive an alert, yes. Um, um, Donna, on YouTube, I download all the videos that I do here onto my YouTube channel. Well, actually, Cheryl, I do offer that if um, I have a program that's called Zoom. That's like a video conferencing thing. And um, if you're interested, it's just, um, you know, if it's something that um, you don't buy a kit from me and you just kind of want a class, I charge $20 and um, I can help you with whatever you need. Kathy, you can. It just depends on the mesh. If it's a real thin mesh, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't use the 20 inches. If it's uh, more of the metallic mesh, that's a better mesh that's going to give you better coverage, you can do 20 inches. It all depends on the mesh you're using. If it's a thin, like I said, if it's a thin that Hobby Lobby mesh, definitely not. Oh, thanks, Johnny. I know I do too, SD. I do too. I really like this ribbon. Okay, so we're getting there. We're almost done. <clears throat> Got two more to go. And then we'll put the sign on and see what else we're going to do. All right, so again, these are cut 14 inches. I just fold them in half. Thanks, Missy. And just put them in my pipe cleaners.
Um, the width of the, excuse me, the red ribbon is two and a half inches. Well, it's been two weeks already, Johnny. That's crazy. I know I'm sure it seems like a lot longer for you, but I know I've been praying that you're doing good. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Hilda. I appreciate that. You have to just make sure that you um, respond to the message that you get for the alert. Oh, sure. This is, um, let me see it. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is the one ribbon I'm using, and it says, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Um, Yep, that's all. And it's just in different um, things. Okay, and I got this at, I actually got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby last year. Okay, so that's the ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby last year. This um, metallic expandable I got from Michael's last year. Yeah, this I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And then these two are from... The white one is from Costco, and the red and white is from Sam's. Thanks, Teresa. Hey, Kimberly. Got it, SD? Yep. So that, yeah, I bought that last year. And, you know, I only have one roll. I looked. I only have one row of that, which I was really disappointed. One roll. I was like, oh, they must have only had one roll. How did you put all the ribbons on like that? Um, just like this, I folded them in half, scrunched them up. I put them in each pipe cleaner. Thanks, Kimberly. And then I just, this expandable stuff, I just stretch out. Yes, Linda, I do. I do. Now, what I do, let me make sure. Now, I just use those two rolls, uh, two rows. Now, if you watch the wreath I made, the teal wreath I made the other day. Was it Sunday? Was that yesterday? No, yesterday I did the Santa. Thursday night, I think I did the teal wreath. Um, if the mesh is thin, oh, thank you, Linda. If the mesh is thin, I then, after I do the poofs, I kind of go back over it with like a zigzag method. Um, so go back. If you have a question, go back and watch that video, and it'll help to show you. If you're using a thinner mesh, um, that helps. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Yeah, you know, I know everyone has to start somewhere, and I know I appreciate all the help I can get. Like I said, so I don't mind helping. You could just help me out by sharing and that kind of stuff. I would appreciate it. All right, so that is all the ribbon stream. Oh, let me zoom back out. Oh, I know, right? So that is that. Now, I was thinking about putting some mesh on there but I'm not going to so I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the sign on so again this is the sign I got from the crazy chicken lady custom um, signs and wreaths and it's a wooden sign so what I'm going to you thank you thank you thank you is I'm going to go ahead and attach my pipe cleaners to it and what I always do yeah I do too Brenda I'm going to take, these are just popsicle sticks that I cut down to little pieces. And I always put that on the sign so that my staples don't go through the sign. Because you don't want that. It'll ruin the sign. So I'm going to put pipe cleaner here. Yes. Yes, it is, Esty. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, okay. 
Oh, thanks, Denise. I'm glad you're here. Yep, SD, if you're interested in it, just send me a message. And um, when I get it all finished and figure out the price, I'll send you the listing. Okay, so again, I just put the pipesicle um, pieces on there to kind of build it up so that this does not go through the sign. Oh, thank you. I know, I love the ruffle method. Oh, no problem, Kimberly. Thanks for coming. Please come again. All right, so that's on there. So then what I'm going to do, absolutely, SD. Oh, thanks, Brenda. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put the sign here like this. And I'm going to tie it to the frame. Yeah, it just helps, um, Melinda. Yeah, so they don't go through. All right. Thanks, Dora. Yes, that's how I get the staples not to go through. Because otherwise, most times, this, the... Um, you put rubber ribbon on the top of the three. Yes, I did, Diana. Yes. Um, most of the time, the, it'll go right through. And then you'll ruin. You'll have ruined your sign, and you won't be able to use it. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Oh, thank you, Linda. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this. And I'm trying to find a crossbar. You want to try and put it around at least one crossbar so it doesn't slide back and forth. So that's what I tend to do. Yeah, that's what I do, Linda. I don't know. I just like putting them on myself. And I like that I can control the spacing of everything, too, if you know what I mean. All right. Okay. All right. So that is that. And then, oh, I forgot to get this out. Let me get this out. So, what I'm also going to do is I have these um, little, get my glue gun out here. Okay, and for those of you who have been watching for a little while, you've seen me. Did you put the ribbon? No, I only put it on 12, Cheryl. Um, you guys have seen me use these before. These are the little styrofoam um, bowl fillers. Some of the places call them, um, you know, some places call them different things. So what I'm going to do is what I do a lot of times with my pipe cleaners is I just roll them and um, roll them around. But what I'm going to do to these is I'm going to cut them down a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. I know I love my glue gun. All right. So what I'm going to do, let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and I'm just going to cut them down a little bit. Now, if I was not putting anything else in here, I wouldn't do this, but I'm... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the red styrofoam balls and one of the silver styrofoam balls, and I'm going to put it on each of the pipe cleaners. Okay, so what I do is I take my little, whoops, don't roll away, my little ice pick, put a little hole in it, and I take my glue gun and I put a little glue in there. It's not hot enough yet, so I'm going to have to wait for that. All right. Oh, thanks, Sonia. Oh, thank you. I do try. Let's see. So I'm just going to find a couple more of these. Whoops. So I have them here ready. Okay. Let's see if my... Um, the glue gun is a Black & Decker, and my battery just ran out. Um, I have an affiliate link for the glue gun if you're interested, Charlene. Yep, 
Yes, Lacey, I do. <laughs> I am um, my neighbor who <laughs> is really funny. She um, calls me a ribbon hoarder. So, um, and anyone knows that if you um, make wreaths, that you tend to hoard ribbon and all kinds of things. Um, but there's my affiliate link to the glue gun if you guys are interested in that. Um, I buy my bowl fillers. I, I've seen them lately at the Dollar Tree, but I got these at, I know, right, Esty? I got these at um, a local craft store store. Um, called AC Moore and I've also seen them at Hobby Lobby I've seen them at Michaels no I can't for others I've seen them at Michaels and you just want to put just a little dab of glue there and then this kind of adds another kind of layer to it okay thanks karma so can you see that just add something else oh no problem D Right, so then I'm just going to go through and do that. Whoop, don't, don't roll away. In each, uh, what did I do with my little? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't remember if it's a high temperature or not. To be honest, I got it about a year ago. Oops, and I forgot to cut my pipe cleaners. These balls like to roll all away. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go to the next one cut the pipe cleaners down a little bit. They're going to roll right off the table. Let me go ahead and do that to all of them so I don't have to do that each time. Yeah, I think so. It just adds a little bit, you know, a little another dimension to it. So now you could add Christmas ornaments to this as well. Um, I like these little styrofoam, I know, right Angie? I like the little styrofoam balls. Um, I don't know, I just like the look of these, so that's why I like to use them. Oh, she's laying, she's laying down. Let me see if I'll, when I'm done, I'll see if I can get her over here. And like I said, normally what I do is if I'm not adding... I wait till I know I'm done adding stuff into my pipe cleaners and I will just like take a, um, you know, kind of thing and roll it around and kind of make it a little decorative. Um, I do like it, Charlene, the batteries, um, now I've had it for a little over a year. So now the, I've had to buy extra batteries for it because they do tend to run out. So I have like four batteries for it. Um, so that's the only thing I'd say that I don't like, but the first year I had it, it worked great. The length of the silver ribbon was the 14 inches. Okay, I think I got all of them. If not, I will go back and do that. Okay, so again, I'm just taking an ice pick and putting a little hole in the ball and then just putting a little dab of glue in there. You don't need much. And putting it in one of these. And then, oh, get back here. Almost, almost, almost. Do that with the red. You just want to be really careful with this glue because it really will burn you. Done that several times. about done just a couple more you guys got awful quiet 
Don't forget about the live alerts and the free wreath. Sign up for that. Check out my Etsy page, my YouTube channel. And I'll stream you all of a sudden. Yep. Oh, thanks, Dora. Glad you guys like it. <laughs> Very good, Jackie. You got another order, girlfriend. Is that the red? Yes, yes, Dora. Yep, it was the red snowball mesh. Oh, thanks, Blanche. And then, you know, you'll always have to go back and kind of fluff everything out, too. <laughs> I know, SD. I always do that, too. I know, right? Oh, I hope I have more silver ones here. about done um, nope I did all this in the ruffle method Jan I did 30 inch I used 10 inch mesh and I used 30 inch ruffles oh hurt my finger Yep, check out Jackie's site. She's where I got the um the sign from. It's in one of the comments. That I posted. Whoops. This one doesn't want to go in. Yes, it is um I used 18 ruffles. Okay. One more. Two more. Yep, Jackie has a Facebook page with her um, signs on it. So you can just go to that page. Hey, Wanda, how are you? Oh, thanks, SD. I'm glad you like it. Okay. I think that's it. All right. All right. Now, like I said, you're going to have to go through and fix all your... Oops, I missed one in there. Let's see if I can get one in there, two in there. All right. <laughs> see, Jackie? Two more here. Oh, 
there we go. Thanks, Jean Janie. Oh, thanks, Wanda. Oh, no, Peggy. Sorry about that. Thanks, Kate. Yep, you can always just save it, um, share it, share this video, and then it'll save to your page. And then you can go back and watch the replay whenever you would like. Thanks, Diana. Yeah. Keep burning myself. <laughs> oh, and here's another one. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Barbara. Trying to do that without burning my fingers. And one more. Thank you, thank you for sharing. I much appreciate that. And don't forget to type in free for to win a chance or a chance to win the free wreath behind me. And an alert, a live or alert if you want to know when I'm going live each time. Hey Lacey, how are you? Hey Steven, how's it going? Did you have your appointment with your surgeon yet, Steven? said just gonna have to go and fluff everything out again Stephen won the first um, yes thank you for sharing Stephen won the first wreath I gave away right Stephen and Stephen's been a faithful follower here ever since so thank you for that Stephen okay Let me get all these glue strings out of here oh <laughs> brenda that's funny is there any good people on dancing with the stars this season okay all right like i said just go through and oh sorry steven steven is probably going to have to have back surgery he's been dealing with a lot of problems with his back so we need to all pray for steven all right i think that is it you guys like i said I'll just go through and do this and spread out here and we're done we are done, done, done. Yes, please share this page if you would, this video. I would much appreciate it. <laughs> oh, good, Stephen. So here we go. This is the wreath of the night. And like I said, I am on every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, please come back again on Thursday night. Oh, thanks, Dreama. Oh, good, Patricia. Thank you. Yes, I really do enjoy the teaching part of it. Um, I just, I love it. It's relaxing to me. It, um, you know, trying to make a little extra money for my family. So, I got a lot going on there. So that's it for tonight, and I think if I can find my sign, I'm going to make um, a breast cancer awareness um, sign 
Or she didn't, if I can find my sign, I was looking for it. I can't find it. So hopefully I can find it. Okay, we'll do SD, definitely. Yep. All right, thanks, SD. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so many of you guys, newbies, for coming on um, and watching. Please continue to watch my videos and check out my YouTube channel and my um, Etsy shop. Thanks again, guys. Have a great evening. And SD, I will send you the link as soon as I um, get it done. You want to see the wreath I'm giving away? Sure. Whoops. Let's see if I can get it off here. Okay, this is the wreath that I'm doing for the giveaway. Um, it's a poison pumpkin wreath. It has the mesh, the purple, the lime green, the orange. has the um, little glitter pumpkins there with the ribbons. So this is the, this is the wreath that you will win if you, um, if you win. So, yay! Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Can you see it good? Yes, definitely, Sharon. Save it, share it, and then it'll um, be on your page. So, all right. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed night, a blessed week. Stephen, I'll definitely be praying for you. Um, thanks, Lacey. So have a good night, guys. Thanks again. Bye. Oops.